involve uh, use of the GDC. Um, I thought I'd take this opportunity to give you a quick tour of what the GDC can actually do so that you don't have to feel uh, too out of your depth. Okay, so um, scratch pad calculate. One of the things that you might have noticed in menu is this number eight finance. Okay, this and then if we go to number one finance solver, there's this brilliant tool um, that allows us to work um, with financial uh, applications, financial questions. Um, so I'm not going to give you, I'll, I'll probably be using this in context later, but if you're ever unsure about what you, what the letter means, it gives you the thing down here. Okay, so number of payments is number of payments per year. Um, so you definitely need to check how many compounds there are because that number will change. Um, I is the interest rate as a percent. PV is the present value, okay? Um, this is a financial solver, and I'll give you um, a, an example in um, in a second of what it does. Uh, PMT is payments, so that's one of the values we're going to be using with annuities and um, the other bits. FV is future value, so how much is it going to be worth in the future? Uh, PPY is payments per year uh, and can change. Compounds per year um, is also something else we're going to look further at. Um, and payment at the end of the year, at the beginning of the year. Uh, I don't think I've ever changed that for any question that I've ever had. But it, as you see, it says set annuity, the payment amount. Um, something that is quirky, I'm just going to punch some numbers in. So, um, so if we have an investment over five years, or not a half a year, five years at uh, 2%. Um, so... We are, we want to know the future value. So the present value, say we invest a hundred dollars, so a hundred dollars at two percent for five years, compounded yearly. We want to work out the future value. So we're going to press Control and Enter. Oh no, we're not. Sorry, my bad. I think we just press Enter, and it gives us a value of negative one hundred and ten. That's why I said it was quirky. Notice the few the payment. The present value is 100, but then the future value is negative 110. This is because it's um, designed for accountants, and they're trying to keep a balance sheet. So $100 would come into them, but then $110 would come out. We're not interested in the negative value for a lot of what we do, but just wanted to... So one of the, the present value or the future value, one of them has to be negative. We'll have a look at this financial solver when we look at some of the examples, okay?